The development of SpaceX's Starship is a significant step in space exploration, particularly in overcoming the challenge of safely returning spacecraft and crew to Earth. Historically, the focus of unmanned deep space missions was primarily on reaching their destination or orbit, without much consideration for a return journey. These missions, often probes or satellites, were designed for a one-way trip, gathering data or performing specific tasks until their operational life ended. The concept of bringing these crafts back to Earth wasn't a part of their design, primarily due to the technical complexities and additional costs involved. However, the scenario changed drastically with the advent of manned missions and the increasing interest in reusable space vehicles. The return of astronauts safely to Earth became a critical aspect of space mission planning. Initially, the idea of reusable spacecraft seemed daunting, if not impossible, due to the immense challenges associated with surviving the harsh conditions of re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere. When Musk proposed the idea of fully reusable spacecraft, capable of both leaving the Earth's atmosphere and returning to be flown again with minimal refurbishment, many in the aerospace community were skeptical. The technical and financial hurdles to achieve such a feat seemed impossible. Critics believed that Musk's vision was overly ambitious, if not outright impossible. Yet SpaceX pursued this vision relentlessly. The focus was not only on the ability to return to Earth, but also on ensuring that the spacecraft could be quickly refurbished and relaunched. This concept challenged long-standing norms in the aerospace industry, where expendable launch systems were the standard. A crucial element in ensuring safe re-entry is the heat shield system. Aiming for full reusability, SpaceX's heat shield needs to be durable, capable of withstanding the high temperatures of multiple re-entries. This is a significant departure from earlier technologies, where the focus was on one-time use. SpaceX's focus on the heat shield makes even more sense when considering the extreme conditions it will face. The Starship is designed to enter Mars' atmosphere at about 27,000 kilometers per hour, employing a belly flop maneuver for deceleration. To put this into perspective, the air temperature around the space shuttle during re-entry was approximately 1,650 degrees Celsius, and NASA's Perseverance rover experienced around 1,300 degrees Celsius when entering Mars' atmosphere. SpaceX's decision to use stainless steel for the Starship's structure is also a strategic one. In a 2019 interview, Musk underscored the advantages of stainless steel over other materials like aluminum and carbon fiber, particularly regarding its ability to withstand high temperatures. This choice aligns with the extreme thermal environments the Starship will encounter. Stainless steel can endure temperatures up to around 870 degrees Celsius, significantly higher than the limits of aluminum and carbon fiber. This property makes it a preferable material for the structural integrity of a spacecraft designed for high-velocity atmospheric re-entry. However, the use of stainless steel alone isn't sufficient for ensuring the spacecraft's integrity during re-entry and landing. This is where the advanced heat shield technology comes into play. In the second Starship launch in November, the destruction of the upper stage was a setback, preventing a thorough evaluation of the heat shield's performance. Notably, some debris detached from the spacecraft during ascent. This issue, although minor compared to previous tests, raised concerns about its impact on future atmospheric re-entries. The focus has been on developing a more robust and reliable method for attaching heat shield tiles, which is essential for the spacecraft's safety during re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. One significant development is the experimentation with a new method for attaching heat shield tiles, which deviates from the previous three-clip system. This new method employs a different type of pin, which is speculated to offer enhanced durability. This innovation could be a major step forward in achieving a more resilient heat shield. The speculation about whether this new method is part of a durability test or a move towards a hybrid approach is intriguing. The idea is to use larger tiles on certain sections of the spacecraft and smaller ones in more challenging areas, such as the ship's edge. This approach could potentially address the unique challenges each part of the spacecraft faces during re-entry. Furthermore, the upcoming third test flight of the Starship is seen as critical in demonstrating the effectiveness of these heat shield improvements. 
the upcoming third launch of SpaceX's Starship is shaping up to be more ambitious and complex than its predecessors, potentially involving a significant advancement like a refueling test. According to Deputy Associate Administrator for NASA's Moon to Mars Program Office, this mission could include a propellant transfer demonstration. This planned refueling test aligns with a contract awarded to SpaceX by NASA in October 2020. Under this contract, SpaceX received $53 million to perform a full-scale test of orbital propellant transfer, which involves transferring 10 metric tons of liquid oxygen between tanks inside a Starship vehicle. This demonstration is crucial for developing the technology needed for Starship to rendezvous with dedicated tanker vehicles in orbit and receive fuel for long-duration missions. Successfully conducting this test will be a major step toward making extended space missions feasible, as it would enable Starship to extend its range and potentially reach destinations like the Moon and Mars. NASA has indicated that up to 20 SpaceX Starship refueling launches could be required per Moon mission. This number underscores the complexity and scale of the logistics involved in planning and executing such missions. The Starship Human Landing System, or HLS, will be pre-positioned in near-rectilinear halo orbit to receive crew. The operational strategy involves launching a storage depot variant of Starship to Earth orbit, followed by a series of reusable tanker. The Starship HLS will then launch, be fueled by the depot, and perform a translunar injection engine burn to travel to near-rectilinear halo orbit. This complex procedure highlights the importance of the refueling test in ensuring the viability and sustainability of future moon missions under NASA's Artemis program. As we await the outcomes of SpaceX's ongoing tests and improvements, the anticipation is high. If Starship's heat shield technology proves effective, it will not only validate SpaceX's innovative approach, but also mark a significant leap in the safety and efficiency of space travel. The journey of SpaceX's Starship, from conceptualization to reality, exemplifies the relentless pursuit of technological advancement and the unyielding human spirit to explore the unknown. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.